Hello everyone and welcome to a general little update video for Friday, July... Let me think. Something. It'll be some date, won't it? I, I don't know what the date is. So today I've got loads of really exciting things to talk about and also maybe a couple of things that um, could be seen as sad things, but they're not really that sad. It's all fine, you know. Um, but this is just a general update to keep you guys updated as to what is happening and I'll probably put a few clues in the title just so if people are interested in the main topics that I'm gonna talk about, they can tune in and take a look. So welcome to everyone that wouldn't normally watch these kind of updates videos. So I think the most important thing to say first of all, and I am going to try and keep this short and sweet, the most important thing to say is I will be ramping down production over the next couple of weeks. This was my last week, my final week of doing five videos a week until I resume the schedule. Now as you guys know, I sat here around about like a few weeks ago or a month ago or something and told you guys that I've got a little one on the way and I'm going to be moving in with Jess and I'll be starting my new family life and it's all really, really exciting. Um, and I did say that I would be ramping down sometime in July. It's around mid-July now, sort of start to mid-July, and um, it feels right at the moment to start ramping down um, content. Now, there will not be five videos a week religiously. Will there be a schedule? No, there will not. Um, you never know, videos could even ping up on the weekends, and it's gonna be like that for a couple of months. I'm probably thinking it'll be around September time where I get back on the, uh, on the IMNC kind of trail of things. Um, however, I'm not too sure what's happening with moving out and stuff, so I'm gonna be a little bit in limbo for a bit. Um, and being in limbo and being sort of clueless as to what's happening and where I'm going is a reoccurring theme throughout this. Um, definitely throughout this sort of process or procedure, so stay tuned for that. So that is the first update. I wanted to tell you guys that because that's basically, you know, um, when Monday comes along and you don't see a video or you maybe might see a video but probably won't see a video, I just wanted to keep you guys updated as to why that will be. So that is that. The next big update is something that's really exciting for the channel. For a little while now, I've wanted to rejig it to my natural colour and sort of um, sort everything out a little bit. Um, get the channel design up to date and nice and uh, there's a lot of things that I've got to do on the social media side of things and on the channel side of things just refreshing the IMNC brand as a whole to make it look current and appealing and attractive my subscriber growth for the increased workload of five videos a week has not been that excellent, guys. Um, when I started five videos a week, I had around 9,000 subscribers. So gaining that 3K, which was an entire third of my initial subscriber base, just from doing five videos a week since last September is kind of a cool thing, but I would have loved to have been at around 14 or 15K by now. Now, it's not all about subscribers and numbers, but what I'm trying to say is if I'm putting all of this hard work and effort into making the videos, I want as many people to see them as possible. So something that I need to do is to make the channel and my brand as a whole look as attractive as possible. And a big part of doing that is my rebranding and my redesign. Um, it's not rebranding because it'll still be it to my natural colour, but it's a massive overhauled redesign. Something that reflects me much more than my current design work. So by design work, I mean my banner, my logo, my you know profile pictures on social media, all of this kind of thing, anything where any bit of design comes in, uh, video thumbnails, video end cards and outros, and including music, and possibly video intros, depending on how well things go. So it's all up in the air at the moment, but I am in discussion with a good buddy of mine, a good awesome cartoon artist buddy of mine, and that's all I'm gonna say at the moment. I do have some rough sketches of what the uh, future IMNC artwork may look like, and I may show you guys in a vlog very soon or something, um, just as a little sneak peek, but there will be a massive channel redesign, and that will probably happen while I am not regularly uploading, because the beauty of not regularly uploading is if I do get a free bit of of time or whatever, even though I am going to be very busy and I've got to support Jess and do all these amazing life things that I'm really looking forward to. Um, I will probably get a couple of free days here and there, so working on uh, re redesigning and rebranding the channel is a very important step for me and something that I'm really looking forward to doing. I will also like to re-thumb 
uh, my sort of recent video catalogue, maybe the 2015 video catalogue. Um, I'd like to re -thumb them all in the new design, which would be nice because uh, my thumbnails are nothing short of crap at the moment to put it bluntly, and that will be an update. So it's my natural color is gonna receive a massive overhaul in terms of design. So that is an awesome piece of news. The next bit of news that I wanna talk about is my computer scenario. As you guys know, I've been having terrible luck with the Mac Pro. Um, there was that situation that went down. I'm not gonna go into it in this video. Go back to last week where I uploaded a couple of bonus little videos if you wanna take a look at what happened. But I had a very unsuccessful sale. Uh, and a very um, unfortunate event occurred, meaning that the Mac Pro is now uh, knackered. So I've got the Mac Pro, I'm not using it as my main machine, obviously, I switched to the Hackintosh, and it's running behind me here, and for the most part, the Hackintosh runs absolutely fantastically. It's faster than my Mac Pro, it's smoother, it's a nice quiet system, and when it is stable, it is stable, but stability is something that I do need to tackle. While I am taking this time off YouTube, one thing that I will be trying to do is sort out the Hackintosh freezing issues. Now, I managed to change one option, and I don't really know what it was, um, and that meant that I am now getting freezes probably only about once every two days, which is great, because before it was around four or five times a day so I've eliminated one issue in terms of freezing and uh, I did that by changing from a Mac Pro 3.1 profile to an iMac uh, what was it like 14 something profile the new iMac because it's a lot closer to my specifications and um, so that's made the Hackintosh run a lot better and I'm really glad about that um, but there is still a little bit more work to do. I believe it could be USB related. I'm still troubleshooting it. It's nothing worth making a video about, but I do believe I'm gonna have to roll back to, to Mavericks texts for my USB 3.0 drivers uh, or network drivers. Not 100% sure, but I may have to do that. And it is something that I will sort out. But the, Mac the Hackintosh is on its way to being uh, the perfect companion for my new main setup, which will hopefully be in a new office somewhere looking great. When I return uh, with five videos a week, I'd love to be moved out and in my own place with a new office, new space to make videos, new desk. That would be great, but it may not happen. Like I say, everything is up in the air at the moment and I just don't know what's happening. But that is the Hackintosh update. Uh, the reason I spoke about the Mac Pro at the same time as speaking about the Hackintosh is because I wanted to discuss my computer situation in general. Put it this way, I'm glad I own the Retina MacBook Pro because sometimes if the Hackintosh is frozen on me and I'm really rushing to do something, I have turned to the MacBook Pro Retina and I am using it quite a lot at the moment. And it is nice to know as a safety net that if anything went wrong with the Hackintosh and if I can't fix the Mac Pro, I've got the Retina MacBook Pro there for me that will do everything. It's not as fast as the Hackintosh, but it's faster than the Mac Pro. So it's an ideal machine to use. Um, it's really great, but I don't need to fall back on it that often. The Hackintosh has been great. I'm not disappointed with it or anything like that. Um, I just thought I'd let you guys know because I do get questions about it from time to time when I drop hints about it in my videos. Um, if I drop hints that the Hackintosh may be freezing or whatever. So those are the three main key updates that I wanted to go over. It's my natural color is ramping down a little bit. I've got new design work on the way, which is a total rebrand and it'll be absolutely awesome. And the IMNC computer scenario. But I do have a little bit of, uh, they were the three main points, but I do have some interesting little points that I will discuss at the end of this video right now. First interesting point is I am looking towards making a little bit more varied content when I return. I am a variety channel, a variety technology channel primarily, but I also do vlogs which mainly revolve around technology. Now the vlogging is going to get a lot more extreme and a lot more adventurous. The vlogs are some of the most popular videos that I do. So when I finally break the confines of these four walls, I know I do take you guys out sometimes, but I'm gonna be taking you guys around my day-to-day -day life a lot more. I've got some great things planned in terms of vlogging and also family vlogging as well. I'm not gonna go crazy easy and I'm not going to turn into one of these really annoying channels that just all of a sudden switches to making loads of family vlogs because that's not what I want to do but every now and again you guys will see a cracking family vlog from me and I'm really excited to do that. Continuing with the theme of more varied content I am looking to get back into gaming content a lot more as you guys know I used to do a lot more gaming stuff and in a few recent gaming videos I have expressed a desire to make some more gaming related videos and I would like to do so um, so I'm looking at getting a capture card at the moment. I'm looking at getting the Elgato, Elgato, El, 
I don't know, whatever, uh, Game Capture HD. I need a proper capture card anyway, and that still supports analog signals, which is important. I need to support standard def analog signals to capture old consoles as well. My current capture card isn't up to it, but I do want to do some uh, Wii U capturing and stuff as well, which will be great. And also I want to start getting some streaming happening because I'll have better internet when I move out. I want to get some uh, streaming things happening with some gaming, maybe some Mario Kart things, some more general Ustream live streams, and just loads of things like that. But, you know, some more gaming stuff, which will be great also. As well, when I move out, I'm going to need to make a little bit more money. So I have decided to launch a little branch out of my current business, and I am going to set myself up in proper computer repairs. Uh, in the new IMNC HQ, it will also be computer repair heaven for me eventually when I can set it up. So I'm going to locally get in laptops and desktops, primarily laptops and desktops. I don't really want to touch all in ones, tablets or phones at this moment in time. I just, I'm not really that interested. But I want to get in laptops and desktops. If I can get in one or two computer repairs a week, that'll help the cash ticking over. And that is one of the money making schemes that I have planned for my return. So you guys will see a lot more general computer repair and whatnot on the channel which I think will go down very very well so there's gonna be a lot less like fluffy rambly content and a lot more content that actually has a purpose and has a point so that's just a tiny little taster of some of the things that are to come with IMNC now if you guys have watched the video up to this point you are a true subscriber and a dedicated audience member so I now feel comfortable expressing these next couple of little points to you guys um, and I'm gonna do so in a manner that is hopefully fairly speedy and fairly easy to understand. So without beating around the bush, lately I've had so many things to deal with um, mentally. I've had so many things happening in my life. And of course the massive life change is such a wonderful and exciting thing. And don't get me wrong, I am massively, massively excited and totally psyched to do it. But I have been under a lot of pressure lately. And I have had a few days where my anxiety um, has been sort of through the roof and I have been sort of struggling um, a, a little bit for the past couple of weeks now between everything that's happened so if you guys uh, don't hear from me for a while or if you guys have noticed in the past little while that I may have seemed down or whatever you probably haven't noticed because I, I'm ge I've generally been really good but what I'm trying to say is this is a big change for me and a big moment in my life and if I'm not a hundred percent Tom if I'm not myself at any point. I want to give a massive apology for that, but I am under a lot of pressure and I am managing um, my emotions and stuff really well and I am in no means, you know, depressed. Um, I, I don't, you know, have depression or anything like that, um, but I am sort of starting to show signs of being quite, you know, having quite high levels of anxiety and stuff. Um, in, partic in particular scenarios and stuff, and I am battling with myself internally a little bit at the moment, just because I've got so many financial things to think about and so many life-changing things to think about. And the fact that I kind of half live here and half live with Jess at the moment is also quite a stressful aspect for both of us. So um, that is pretty much all I'm gonna say on the matter. I am not 100% great in my mind at the moment, but, the great thing is I can think positively 99% of the time and I am so looking forward to the things that are coming and I am coping very well so I don't want anyone to worry that's just a little something that I wanted to put out there that I'm feeling a little bit a little bit rough here and there um, but everything is absolutely okay so if you guys have made it to this point and you've listened to my rambling, thank you very much. Please consider giving me a like down below because of course when I stop doing the five videos a week, my stats are gonna plummet. So any uh, re-watching or re-liking that you guys can do would really, really help me out. And uh, YouTube, income and stats and, and like I say all that kind of thing and YouTube you know predictions and that are all going to go down but hopefully I'll get it all back up and I'll get it back up better than ever uh, this September onwards. So I don't have any concrete date when I'm going to return, properly return and you guys will see videos, you may see like three videos a week or something, who knows, but you will see videos um, in you know in the next couple of months that is that is totally guaranteed i will post stuff up on the channel it's just not going to have a schedule so thank you very much for watching everyone huge thank you for listening as i say please give me a like please subscribe to the channel it helps me out more than i could ever begin to describe to you guys so a massive thank you for watching and as always huge thank you for the support i will see you in the next video whenever that may be